today we will study nouns in terms of form function and meaning nouns are one of the four major word classes along with verbs adjectives and adverbs nouns are the largest word class we will also look into their classification on various levels a noun as we know is a word that names a person place thing or idea a noun refers to a person animal or thing some examples are nouns referring to people girl man learner meeta prime minister father nouns referring to animals as cat dog peacock bird crocodile fish nouns referring to things as book pen ball knife computer most nouns are common nouns referring to classes or categories of people animal and things proper nouns are the names of specific people animals and things they are written with a capital letter at the start meeta with capital m mr das with capital m and d gopal with capital b concrete nouns refer to material objects people places that you can touch see hear smell or taste persons as in man mrs sharma doctor places as mumbai mountains home river park things as book maruti car basketball toys we also have abstract nouns they refer to things which are not material objects such as ideas feelings and situations you cannot touch see hear smell or taste them using your five senses idea as affection stupidity integrity religion emotions as pleasure fury anger excitement fear surprise nouns can also be countable nouns some nouns refer to things which in english are treated as individual items which can be counted these are called countable nouns here are some examples a bike two bikes my sister my two sisters a toy a box full of toys a park several big parks uncountable nouns in english grammar some things are seen as a whole or mass they could be substances qualities which we cannot count and hence usually have no plural forms these are called uncountable nouns some examples of uncountable nouns are ideas and experiences as advice information progress news luck fun work material words as juice rice sand gold butter money weather words as thunder lightning 
rain, winter. Things as furniture, garbage, luggage. Now, these nouns are not used with A, N or numbers and are not used in the plural. Mr. Das is going to get new furniture for his new apartment. We would not say this as Mr. Das is going to get new furnitures for his new department. This would be incorrect. Now coming back to countable nouns. They may be singular or plural. Countable nouns can be singular when they refer to one person or thing. Singular means just one of the persons, one of the animals or one of the things which the noun refers to. Plural means more than one. Countable nouns can be used with a and and with numbers and many other determiners. For example, these a few. Molly's got two elder brothers and a younger sister. Mr. Das is very fond of things like cameras and computers. These trousers look old now. Cameras, computers, trousers, there's no a and used with it. Singular as a car, my apartment, that puppy. Plural as two cars, apartments in new township, those puppies. We use singular verbs with singular nouns and plural verbs with plural nouns. This we will study in our next class. Presently, we focus on forming the plural of nouns. The rules for making the plural of nouns depend on the spelling and pronunciation. Most nouns form their plural by adding S. Finger, fingers, college, colleges, shop, shops, hen, hens, mobile, mobiles. In other cases, the plural depends on how the noun ends. If the noun ends in ch, s, sh, x or z, add es. The plural ending es is pronounced z. Box, boxes. Watch, watches. Bus, buses. If the noun ends in a consonant plus Y, change Y to I and add ES. Party, parties. Family, families. Spy, spies. Dictionary, dictionaries. Some nouns ending in F, change F to VES. Wife, Wives, thief, thieves, loaf, loaves. But there are exceptions. Roof, roofs. Belief, beliefs. Cliff, cliffs. Now, if the noun ends in O, add ES. Mango, Mangoes, hero, heroes, tomato, tomatoes, volcano, volcanoes. Here exceptions are radio, radios, no E. Video, videos, no E. Nouns with Latin or Greek origin have their own ways. Formula, formulae, phenomena, phenomena, crisis, 
dresses. Some other exceptions are as child, children, man, men, woman, women, tooth, teeth. Some nouns are used only in singular even though they end in S. These include the names of academic subjects such as classics, economics, mathematics, maths, physics, the physical activities as gymnastics and aerobics, the diseases measles and mums, and the word news. Maths was never my favorite subject at school. Aerobics is a great fun. You should try it. Nouns used only in the plural. Some nouns only have plural form. They cannot be used with numbers. They include names of certain tools, instruments and articles of clothing which have two parts. Some examples of such tools and instruments are binoculars, headphones, sunglasses, glasses, scissors, tweezers, jeans, pyjamas, trousers. Then there are collective nouns which are group words. These nouns refer to groups of people, for example audience, committee, government, team. These are called collective nouns. Some collective nouns can take a singular or plural verb depending on whether they are considered as a single unit or as a collection of units. Audience, crew, public, committee, team, government. This was all about nouns and my expectation is, my advice is just go through as many passages in English as you can till the next class and underline the words that you know are nouns. You may even classify these nouns into various classes as we have discussed today. In our next lecture, we shall be taking up verbs for our study purpose. Thank you. See you.